Something else I learned while playing with the Epilogue Laser at Fab Play at the Hawkins School was the idea of color mapping. Now, color mapping, what we're doing is we're making other vector lines, other vector cut lines, and we're going to vector them instead of rastering them. So it's actually still a line, like you just want to draw a line on something. You don't want to cut it out. You just want to engrave it, etch it in. Um, rastering that would, would want to burn it pixel by pixel, but if you vector cut it, it's just going to go a quick line, so it's going to save you time. For example, my Snoopy that I brought in and did, um, obviously the nose, the eyes, the ears, anything black is going to get rastered. But the smile, the, the arm outline, the pad, the feet, uh, for the pads on the feet, um, his eyebrows, if you vector cut those, but not actually cut them, um, vectors, yeah, you're going to vector them, it'll happen a lot quicker than the raster. So we did that. And uh, how you do that is, again, you set it as a hairline, and a hairline tells it, tells that blog that this is going to be a vector cut. And then you change the color of it to a specific color. And you tell Epilogue, this color, vector cut it at these settings. And I'll take you through that in a moment. First, let's show you how to do this. So um, we've got our Corel Draw here, whatever software you're using. You could be using um, Inkscape. I got my Snoopy here. I'm going to bring him in. Boom. Done with that. Let's make it a little bigger so I can see some things. And again, you're gonna since it's a PNG or a JPEG, you got a bitmap. Um, I think I quick traced. Again, you got to look through all those um, tracing things. So that is the one I'm going to work with. That's the vector. This is just the JPEG, the bitmap. Now here's an interesting thing. Did you notice? Notice something real funny. Let's go to wireframe. Come up here to here. Uh, go to wireframe. I don't want these two black lines, the one inside the other. That's because this line for the outline is thick, so it created multiple lines. Um, so I need to get rid of those. So let us ungroup things. And let's see if we can get, see, pull that out, get rid of it, delete it. Boom. Gone. Now I just have one out, outline to cut. Um, check on your fill. Let's see. Click on him again. I don't want him filled. I just want him no fill, so remove all fill. And yes, we're going to want a hairline. We're going to want red on the outline. And let's go back here to enhanced. That's what we get. Okay, there's probably some other cleanup I needed to do back in that other mode, um, like deleting these feet and that. But now, here's the uh, the vector cut idea. Any black is going to get rastered. These lines for his, for his uh, the pads on his feet, or actually this, this other foot, I'm going to have to draw, draw back in. I'm going to draw them as freehand. So come over here to freehand. And I'm you know, just going to draw some nice you know, little... Nothing straight. And then I'm going to come up here to the properties and I'm going to make it a hairline. And I need to make it a certain color. I don't want to make it red. If I make it red hairline, um, my vector settings will cut through that. And I don't want to cut through. I just want to draw it, etch it on there. So I'm going to pick um, blue, which is 255B. And notice it went blue. Come on. See, it's now blue. I'll do it with whatever lines I want to draw. Pick whatever color you want. Just remember the RGB value because that's what it goes by. Now we will go, now after we get all it all done, get everything drawn, we'll file, print it off to um, Epilogue. And what happens in Epilogue? is we've got um, a combined kind of uh, thing going on. Uh, make sure it's the size of your material. And so there are going to be some raster settings for your material. 
Make sure you got the right settings for material. And then some vector cut settings. And again, red hairline uh, defaults to these settings. And then you can all come up here and click on color mapping. Click on color mapping. And what it does is you can set specific settings for specific colors. So right now this is set for blue, 255, 00, 255. And it's got certain settings. Anything that's a blue hairline is going to be cut by these settings. This person is cutting three different, has three different settings for cutting, one for blue, one for red, one for green. Again, you can put any values you want for your colors. Just remember them. Um, red, green, blue are simple because it's 255 for one of the numbers. And that is color mapping. So what you'll get is something like that. The red was outlined. So it was a hairline red. I was on the outline. Uh, the nose, the eyes, and the ear got rastered. I think the... Uh, Collar got rastered also because that was a really thick line. And then eyebrows, smile, arm, foot pads um, were a vector blue. So they just got cut. They just got drawn really quickly because they were a vector instead of a raster. Um, I think the settings were something like the, the, the red to cut out on this epilogue. I forget which one it was. But it matters for your for your epilogue, your specific laser because of the power and your specific materials. I think this eighth inch birch, I think the uh, speed settings were 16%, 100% power and 500 frequency to cut out. I forget the raster settings, but I think the vector drawing settings, we set it like 90% speed, 100% power and stick with 500 frequency. So, so that's color mapping. Enjoy.